This was supposed to be Tatarstan's answer to Las Vegas. Twice in the past 40 years, the residents of Kamskia Poliani thought they had hit the jackpot. Twice, their promising hand went bust. About 10 years ago, the casinos closed. It was the latest blow to this town, 1,000 kilometers east of Moscow, which already had a long run of bad luck. In 1981, the Soviet government began the construction of a nuclear power plant here. In 1986, another Soviet nuclear plant, nearly 2,000 kilometers away, had a meltdown. The deadly disaster at Chernobyl forced Soviet authorities to rethink nuclear power. The Komsky Polyani project became a target of growing ecological protests. In the was но строители у них очень мощный строительный потенциал был они в надежде что все-таки что-то остановит этих зеленых они продолжали какое-то строительство еще but the nearly completed complex was shuttered leaving the town reeling there was a plan to make the plant into a venue for music festivals but that fell through some thought that Moscow's post-soviet government might finish the nuclear plant and turn it on but there's been no sign of that. Instead, in 2006, the town was designated as a legal gambling site. Soon, casinos popped up in the place dubbed Tatar Vegas, or just Tat Vegas. But new problems quickly followed. In 2009, the government took away the town's designation as a legal gambling zone. The casinos became cafes or car washes or were just abandoned. With the odds against them, many residents of Kamskia Poliani simply decided to fold.